peace, my shepherd. Amen. All our eyes on you, Lord. All our hope in you, Lord. All our trust in you, Lord. It's better. Even in the bad times, it's better. 
Even 
so that I will please him. Not people. Because you know what? When you please him, how many know you're going to be a blessing to people? Amen? So I want you to think tonight, nothing is worth being distant to your Savior and your Lord. He loves you with an everlasting love. And he, he's not a distant father. But he's a, he's a very close father. He's a good father. So he wants to know you and he wants you to know him so that you can receive all of the benefits that he has for you. Somebody tonight needs peace that surpasses all understanding. And I'm here to let you know all you have to do is get closer. Somebody needs healing in their bodies tonight. And the Bible says that by his stripes you're healed. I mean you're already healed. Do I have any believers in here today? 
So I'm going to give you another chance to sing that song one more time because it's, it's about intimacy with God. Lord, I love you. Oh, God, you're so good. You're so merciful. You're so kind. Raise your hand if he's been good to you. So tonight, let's just let's just offer him that, that chorus another time and sing it with all you have. All right? The voices again. Just to be close. is who he says he is and he's the same yesterday today and forever amen thank you all for coming tonight to worship with me do I have any worshipers here in, in the house oh yeah I know I know I can feel it because how many know when we come together on one accord and to give God praise that God will show up and um, I need him to show up Every day of my life, I need him. I can't live without him. I can't breathe without him. Every breath I take belongs to him. Amen. And so I'm glad that you're here tonight. I'm so glad for those of you who have been with me for years. And those of you who just found out who I was. <laughs> ILCC Winans. Ashley. Actually I'm, actually, I'm C.C. Winans Love. Um, love is my last name. I've been married for 38 years. But I I'm stuck with Winans, what can I say? Um, and for those of you who don't know, I come from Detroit, Michigan. I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan. All right, Michigan, all right. And um, I come from a pretty large family, the Winans family. Um, and, and we all sang, you know, my mom and dad sang, mom and pop winers, and I have seven older brothers. Yeah, I get, I still get a headache when I think about how my mom, my mom had seven boys straight, and I was the first girl, and they said when they brought me home, my brothers looked at me and said, what is this? And I have two younger sisters, so my mom had one sister, my father was the only child, and they came together and had 10 kids. I guess they said, we will never be lonely again. But we all sing gospel music, and um, um, I've been doing it a long time. Uh, how many have been with me since um, PTL days? How many have been with me uh, throughout BB and CC? 
So I'm not the only one growing wiser in this crowd. <laughs> um, I started out on a PTL club, for those of you who don't know what that is, it was a, a Christian um, TV show. And I started out on there singing, you know, professionally when I was about 17 years old. And I'm 58 now. Um, so, so I've been doing this over 40 years. Over 40 years, a long time. And you guys are still, you still like me for some reason. <laughs> no, I, and I, I just, I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for those of you who just got introduced to me on this last record and for those of you who've been with me since I was 17 years old. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your life, to, for allowing me to drive in the car with you, you know, ride in the car with me, for allowing me to be in the hospital when your loved ones are taking their flight, um, for allowing me to just minister to you. You open up your hearts and your home to me over the years and I don't take that lightly. I appreciate your love and your patience and your kindness towards me. I thank you for, for buying my cassettes. The young people don't even know what that is. Cassettes, my CDs, my albums. You know, the albums are out now. The young people think it's something new and cool. And it's like, no, that's coming around again. Um, I tell everybody, I, I, I never put out eight tracks. So I'm not eight track old. <laughs> but, but I appreciate, I appreciate you being here tonight. And, and, and so when you get to be my age, you don't go just to be going, amen? I, you know, I tell everybody, it used to be people would ask me for my autograph. And then they said, well, can't, then it changed to, will you sign up my autograph for my mother? Will you do this for my mom? And then it went to, will you, will you sign it for my grandma? And I'm like, what? But, but hey, it's, it's, it's what happens, right? I don't know when it happened, but I became part of the older generation. But I am so excited to be in the grandparent club. My kids look at me and say, wow, do you, do you, do you even love us anymore? <laughs> so, so yeah, we're part of the Grandparent Club and I'm so, so proud of it and I'm so honored because God is faithful, amen? So, so what we're gonna do right now, these singers are gonna come and I'm gonna take a, take a little break because I told y'all I was 58, right? <laughs> and they're gonna sing some of my old songs. Just a few of them. They're gonna take about eight minutes, and they're gonna they're gonna sing. All right. So if you know these songs, join in with them and sing with them. Okay. Anybody come to have a Holy Ghost party? All right. Well, don't act bad up in here. Come on. We singing about Jesus. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? All right. Take it away.
all these singers, these incredible musicians, a hand as well. Can you show some love to them? So, so how many scream if you remember any of those songs tonight? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, I'm gonna see if you. Um, well, no, I'm not doing that. God has been, he's been really, really good. And, and it's a privilege and honor to, to love him and to live for him and to be able to sing his praises all around the world. Um, if you came in tonight and you don't know Jesus as your personal savior, then tonight is your night. Amen. Living for Jesus is the best life you could ever live. Do I have any witnesses here? Well, I love him because he first loved me, and I love him because he's faithful and he's true, and I love him because he has all power, he has all wisdom, he has all knowledge, he knows the end from the beginning. We don't have to be stressed out because we serve a God who sits up high and looks down low, and um, yeah, no matter what you're facing, he can handle it. He's never lost. And he never will. How many know? I just want to remind you that we serve a God who has all power. He never has a bad day. Amen? Don't wait till the battle's over. I can shout now. I don't have to wait till the battle's over. I can shout now. I don't have to wait till the battle's over. I can shout now. Don't have to. 
to wait till the battle's over. But you can shout now. Alright? Alright, so, so, Gerard, go ahead and go first. You go first. Well, I'm saying for viewers out here, you say this. I don't have to wait till the battle's over. I can shout now. You say,
We can release our faith for the impossible. I don't know what you're going through tonight, but I want to encourage you to speak to your mountain. I want to encourage you to allow the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you. I want to encourage you, if you don't know the Lord as your personal Savior, to ask them to come in right now. Because how many know he came all the way from glory down to Calvary? He didn't have to do it, but he did. He died for your sins and he died for mine. And on the third day, God raised him from the grave. He went back to prepare a place for you and for me. And I'm so excited that you don't hear about it a lot, but how many know he's coming back? Anybody excited that he's coming back? I want to give you an opportunity before we sing Believe for him. Before I ask you to release your faith for the impossible, I got to make sure everybody's in the right posture. Because how many know everybody can't do it? God recognizes those who recognize him. He's coming back, but he's coming back for those who believe. You see, there is no in-between. Did y'all hear me? I know we're living in a culture where they make you think there's an in-between. But God said you're either for me or you're against me. You either love me or you don't. But he's coming back because he loves you with an everlasting love. But you know he puts his word above his name. He's a holy God. And he's not changing for me. And he's not changing for you. We have to line up with him. Who wouldn't want to serve a God? Like him. He's so good. He's so kind. So tonight, if he was, if he was to come back and you're not absolutely sure you would go home to be with him, then this opportunity is for you to ask Jesus to come into your heart to be the Lord of your life for the rest of your life. And the Bible tells me that all you have to do is confess your sins and believe that God raised them from the dead. If you confess him as Lord and Savior and believe that God raised them from the dead, the Bible said you shall be saved. Isn't that awesome? Doesn't matter what you've done or where you've been or how many times you've messed up, he's waiting to love you like only he can. Oh man, he's got purpose for your life. He has a plan for your life. So tonight, you get a chance to ask him in. I'm going to ask everyone to pray this prayer with me, the salvation prayer. And if you pray this prayer and you believe, the Bible says you're saved. Amen? Amen. I want everybody to repeat after me, even those of us who know the Lord already. For those who might be repeating it for the first time, I want them to hear our support. Amen? And the family of God. Now remember, this is not about religion, but this is about a relationship. Jesus I'm in love with him and, and so so after we pray this prayer yes you, you're saved but now it's time to renew your mind it's, and it's time to become a disciple of Jesus Christ and you do that by yes finding a church of people who love God and where the word is going forth so that you can learn to walk with them you can learn to talk with them and you can learn to be just like them Amen? All right, so let's pray. Everybody bow your heads and repeat this prayer after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of your Son, Jesus. I believe he died on the cross for my sins. And I believe that on the third day, you raised him from the grave. Lord Jesus, I repent for my sins. Forgive me 
wash me and make me whole. I invite you to come into my heart and be the Lord of my life for the rest of my life. Father, fill me with the Holy Spirit so that I will be empowered to live a life pleasing to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you pray that prayer and you believe, welcome to the family of God. Come on, saints, make some noise up in here. Heavenly blessings on the one, so somebody you can go back. place. Bring us healing with your warm grace. Show your power, make your presence known. Holy Spirit, come fill this place. Breath of God, we need you. We need a touch from you. Shine down on us with the light. Whatever you need tonight, just receive it. And set our spirit free. Holy Spirit, come feel this place. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come feel this place. Come on and put those hands together and give God praise tonight. Thank you for salvation. Welcome to the family of God. We can release our faith <laughs> for the impossible. Because when you're lined up with him, he said, all you have to do, he said, this is the confidence that we have. When we pray according to his will, we know that he hears us. And if we know that we, he hears us, then we have the petition that we've asked for. Hey, pretty ladies. <laughs> so tonight, whatever it is, say, Lord, I believe. His name is greater. Whatever we're facing, the name of Jesus is greater. So cancer, you have to leave in the name of Jesus. We command you to go. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Depression. Oh yeah. I command you to leave in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Whatever you need, just reach up and receive it.
shall come to pass. You might say, but CC, I've been believing for a long time. And I just want you to know that if you keep believing, he's going to show up. If he said it, you believe it, it's done. So, whatever that thing is, whatever your mountain might be tonight, or maybe you believe in God for somebody else, I want you to grab that thing in your mind and in your heart, and I want you to sing this. God, we
really feel or what things look like. We as the people of God, we live by the word. If he said it, we believe it, it's done. Nothing else. Amen? Hallelujah. And we can depend on him because we've already sang about the goodness of God. And how many know there is no greater love than the love of God? Remember and never forget that God loves you. Just say, just say, yes, Jesus loves me. Come on, make it personal. Come on. Yes. so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life there is no greater love so when the devil come to try to tell you that you're not loved that's a lie and you gotta be able to look him in the face and say God loves me he loves me he loves me so turn to your neighbor even though it's dark outside turn to somebody and say there's no greater love Turn to your other neighbor and say, God really loves you. All right, here we go. No greater love. And then...